what is going on guys i am back here with another video for you guys today i hope everybody is having a fantastic day so far today we're gonna be doing stuff uh, okay so today was supposed to be like a cars and coffee vlog but uh i accidentally woke up too late and yeah that's just what happens when you only get five hours of sleep so yeah we're just gonna vlog about like what happens today and actually right now i'm about to go to best buy because i really want to uh, look for a new monitor. There's nothing wrong with my current monitor right now I've actually been really interested in ultra wide monitors So I've been wanting to actually look at them in person because I've only seen them on the internet and everything So I want to see what the whole hype is about I want to see how big the one that I've been eyeing on looks like and I actually want to see if it actually fits in my room So I don't know if I'm gonna get it today. I mean, there's, there's probably like a zero to ten chance of me getting an ultra wide monitor today but right now i'm going to best buy to see what options i have and i'm also going there to get some canned air or compressed air or whatever the fuck you call it because i really need to clean my computer it's been such a long time since i've actually uh cleaned my computer and it's all dusty and i, I can tell my computer is just fucking freaking out like what the fuck are you doing why haven't you cleaned your computer so that's why we're going to best buy that's the main reason why but i really do want to look at ultra wide screen monitors i sort of want on TV and maybe look at a new vlogging camera but we'll see so uh, let's go ahead and go to Best Buy what Best Buy moved again are you kidding me are you kidding me seriously Best Buy okay so if anybody lives in like the Raleigh, North Carolina area, you guys would know that Best Buy has moved like two times within the last like what, two, three years. And now I just really do not know why they moved this time. Maybe they couldn't afford the rent or whatever, but this is fucking ridiculous. We moved August 19th to that area. 6280 Capitol Boulevard. I fucking hate it that when they move like that. It's so fucking stupid. In one mile, the <laughs> a very clean Subaru Impreza RS that's over there. That was in white. That's very clean. Uh, oh god, you don't see many of those in a clean condition anymore. Oh look, a clean Integra Type R over there. Ooh, or is, is that a fake Integra Type R? It's just an, it's a yellow for <laughs> Integra Type R. So I parked next to this LS430 over here, and I was like, why not LS Buddies? But I'm pretty sure the driver of that LS430 is an old guy, so he probably won't know what car I'm driving because I took the emblems off. LS Squad. Well, I think I found it. It seems like this is all they have for now. Three. This one is like the only one that they have in ultra widescreen. But nonetheless, I'm pretty impressed with the ultra widescreen, and I might end up actually getting one very soon. But... Ooh. Laptops. So I didn't go ahead and buy the monitor. Uh, however, I did get what I came here for, which is a uh, compressed air or cleaning duster or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But overall, I give the new Best Buy at 6280 Capital Boulevard. A six out of ten mainly because of their lack of products and just I don't know I, I feel like they could do, they could have done something with the layout you know what I mean like make it make me feel like I'm at home okay like make me feel like there's like so much stuff that I need to see I don't know I just felt like they could have done something else with the layout like I feel like there was a lot of space that needs to be worked on and they need more products like there's there like I went into the camera section and there was like at least six cameras. There were six like, you know, handheld fucking point and shoots and like literally like no DSLRs except the ones that are in the box. And I was like, what kind of selection is this? One of the things that I wanted to talk about today was change and how change is really good. Now, change is like one of those things where like a lot of people are afraid of doing. Like they love talking about it. Like 
they love talking about how they want to change and how they want their future to be like this and that and how they want to become this type of person but they're not willing to do it and i feel like a lot of people self-doubt themselves because of it a lot of people set roadblocks for themselves because they're scared of changing they're scared of the outcome and for me i'm the type of person where i'm not scared of that anymore i'm not scared of changing every single day i basically live off of it you know i try to find something about myself that i want to change every single day and i make that change happen i tell myself that i'm going to change this one part about myself and i work on it i work on that to strive to become a better person and i strive off of progression with that being said i don't like it when people tell me that you know they can't change or they, they're not willing to change or that you know change is too difficult for them or that you know they, they don't want to accomplish their goals and dreams because it's too far away or that it's too hard to do it's sort of like if you tell yourself that something is too hard or if you tell yourself that you know everything is shitty and life is unfair and if you become all negative about everything then obviously things that will come back will become negative to you. If you start saying things that are positive, like you love your life and you appreciate everything that comes into your life and you love the things that you have and you know, you, you're gonna be rich one day or you're gonna be able to make a career out of this one day, then positive things will come to you as long as you put in the work. You, you gotta tell yourself and you gotta believe in yourself that change is good and that you know the change that you're willing to do to yourself is good you can't just keep on self-doubting yourself because then you're procrastinating and you're not doing the work that you should be doing and you're just putting everything off and then once you do change you start realizing how much time that you could have had into doing so much more things and change starts with you you know no one is going to help you change no one is going to change for you and no one's going to make you change you're going to have to start believing in yourself that you can change and actually change once you tell yourself that. And that's like one of the most important things to remember is that people don't believe in themselves whenever they do something. It's like they're always looking for other people's acceptance. And it's just like when they're not accepted by people, they don't, they, they, they don't want to change. They just think negatively about everything like, oh, why people don't like my work or like, you know, why people don't like me as a person. I can tell you guys this right now. If I didn't have any friends, if I, I didn't have people that supported my work, if I, if I had like 15 subscribers on YouTube, I would still be making these videos for you guys because I understand now that I enjoy making the videos and I don't let other people's opinions discourage me from making the videos that I like to make. You know, I still have people who don't like the videos that I make and I still have people who, you know, just constantly watch my videos and like make fun of every single thing that I do. But at the same time, I really don't care. I like doing this and that was one of the most important changes that I made in my life was that I, I, I stopped listening to what other people thought about me and thought about my videos and thought about the work that I do and I just solely just truly focus on myself and the work that I put in because once you start believing in yourself you're gonna gain like so many other people who support everything that you do and watch every single video that you make or see every single photo that you post or every single piece of artwork you put online you're gonna get that okay you're gonna get that just don't rush it focus on your time change something that you don't like about yourself and most importantly believe in yourself and don't ever doubt yourself so that's pretty much all i really want to talk about um now i'm going to clean my computer because my computer is very dirty very dusty i don't think i've cleaned it in like a year so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clean it and i'm gonna basically clean it outside because the last time i cleaned it in the room i got very sick for like a week or something so uh yeah i think it's a better idea to clean outside so let's go ahead and do that all right so look look at all the dust that's been building up that's on our sides ew and then the front the front's worse so definitely needs uh definitely need a lot of cleaning there so and now my computer looks cleaner you can actually see the fan now 
The front's a little bit, you know, still messy, but it's clean. So yeah, I say job done successful. All we gotta do now is, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how messy it was. This was from the side of the computer case. Yeah, see that? That's disgusting. It's like millions and millions of dirty bacteria and particles and AIDS and bunnies and all that kind of, it's just gross. So, good news. The computer starts and everything. That's the computer right there. I know I'm it's messy right now. Don't pay attention to that. Um, but it does start and it looks like it's running absolutely fine, which is like the first time that that has ever happened. Um, so yeah, successfully cleaned my computer. I guess I can call that an accomplished day. So now I'm, I guess I'm just going to clean my entire room now because since school has started and everything, I just haven't had time to clean my room. So I'm dedicating this whole entire day onto cleaning something. But yeah, I guess I'm like just that type of person where like if I start cleaning something, I absolutely have to clean everything else. So um, that means for me at least my entire room because my room stays messy no matter how much I clean it. So I'm going to dedicate my entire day on reorganizing everything and cleaning everything. Um, so that's gonna conclude today's vlog for today. I know it's not an eventful one. I'm sorry guys My next vlog will probably be Tuner Evolution Charlotte and that's on September 17th I'm gonna hopefully have a new vlogging camera by then so that way I'm not using the iPhone once I get my vlogging camera in I'll definitely make an unboxing video for you guys. But yeah, go ahead and follow all my social media down here. I'm going to place all my social media down here. Definitely follow my Twitter because I want to get more interactive on Twitter. Um, I want to talk to a lot of my subscribers on Twitter. Um, you know, with YouTube and everything, I try my best to reply to most of the comments. But the YouTube app on the iPhone isn't really the best. And I don't really like commenting on the actual site itself. So if you guys want to talk to me, go ahead and follow my Twitter. Um... Follow my Instagram too because I post a lot of cool stuff on my Instagram and uh, yeah I do have a Facebook page as well and also if you guys like my vlogs a lot like really a lot um, I suggest you guys to go on to this site here this is my company website and I make stickers slash slaps or whatever you kids call it nowadays fucking Skype but yeah I have stickers like these stickers like this I have these cool looking ones too that I'm not gonna be making look they change color I'm not going to be making these anymore so um, and I also have these if you guys want to support my photography so uh, if you guys want to do that go ahead and visit the site down below once these are gone they're gone I'm not making any more of these I'm gonna be making more designs very soon and releasing them once all of these are sold out so please if you guys love my vlogs go ahead and support me by buying a sticker from me they're like mad cheap going from like three dollars to like uh, seven dollars and stuff so um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow all my social media, buy my stickers, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.